Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We're fixing to do some things today. We're fixing to the playroom. Yeah, I basically just let it go for a couple weeks now because I really was just in denial that this was going to be a situation. But here we are, and it's time. Oh, gosh. Uh, hi, I'm in the crib. Hi, I'm in the crib, too. My okay, so first things first is we are going, since everything is already pulled out, I don't have to worry about pulling out all of their things. That's normally the first thing you do is you pull out all the yeah. things. We're going to go ahead and start organizing. Even the books. Mom. So... Uh, about um like separating the books okay anyway so what we are going to do since everything's already pulled out we are just going to start putting everything in piles so we've got like baby dolls stuffies um like big toys like the like their little cars you know we've got like Paw Patrol cars, Barbie cars, uh, baby doll toys, baby doll clothes, different things like that. The biggest rule that we have in our house is if it's broken or missing pieces, torn, if it's not in its proper form as when we purchased it, it goes directly into the trash. We don't keep broken or missing pieces. Once we get each pile, we'll be able to kind of see if we have too many baby dolls, maybe we can kind of declutter those down, so on and so forth. So here we, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, before we get started, as far as organizing everything, so I do have some little organizational like systems that I've picked out from Ikea. He is about two and a half hours from us. So in the meantime, I am just gonna use what I have and I thought this was a perfect example and a perfect way to show you you don't need to go out and spend gobs of money. Just use what you already have. It may not look pretty. It may not be like aesthetically pleasing, but you can make it in a way that it is until you're able to get to the point where you can purchase the things that are more aesthetically pleasing. So they're functional for kids, but pretty for mama. So just kind of keep that in mind. Here we go. So I'm going to show you the piles that I made and just like sidebar while we were cleaning the electricity went out mm -hmm. so I'm like sweaty mess same. and currently what'd you say same. same and currently Justin is 
loading the truck up with a bunch of stuff that needs to go to our local like donation center. I prefer to use a local donation center versus like a big named one like Goodwill or such just because I feel like the like your local one obviously helps with your community. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and just kind of show you the piles we made uh, to see if it kind of helps you determine mm -hmm. categorizing and grouping. Oh. The other thing I suggest, I know it could be more of a headache than a help, but including your kids in the process. I think it's very important that they understand the process and what it looks like. And also they need to understand that the hard work that goes into cleaning these things up. This helps you get a visual of how much stuff you actually have. So over here we have all of their cooking stuff. This is like baking and cooking. Over here we have bags. This is actually stuff that I need to put in my room. This was my mom's clothes that I'm keeping. Over here we've got their little dress up station. This over here I've got stuffies. We've got all of our Barbie and baby doll clothes in this basket. All of our Barbies and baby dolls. We've got all of their baby doll accessories, their doll accessories, their baby accessories. Um, I think they've got several beds in here, so we're definitely going to be downsizing all of this stuff right here. We've got magnet toys right here. This over here is all of Lily's like Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig. I've got an art pile here. This is their books. I actually set up this little reading nook. Kitchen stuff is all over here, like kitchen cleaning, when they play store. Over here, I've got like their bigger item toys. We did a pile of like bath, jewelry, makeup stuff. So most of this stuff will actually go into the bathroom, but like they have play makeup stuff that will stay in here. That's the trash box. We've got Legos here. And then we've got uh, like cars and planes, which is Lily's, and then a little sunglass pile. This right here is like miscellaneous, so now that you know what your categories are, you just kind of look from there and see, okay, what type of storage would I need for those things? But in the meantime, I've got to use what I've got. So I've got tons of baskets and cubes and tubs already. Um, they just all don't match, but it's just, it's gonna work for now. Yeah, let's get to organizing. Okay. here these are the little doodads that I found to help save some space uh, I think I got these from the container store a lot of years ago but so I put all of their kind of their baby doll stuff so I've got all of the accessories the, all of the Barbies and baby dolls and then all of the clothes and then all the shoes I put just in this little bucket thing here and then next to it on this is the entertainment center so I've got the big dolls in this big one here so it's still all kind of right here this is like the doll area and then down here I put all of Lily's like Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, Cars. I put all of their bags in here. I have this little like I think this is like a pencil holder and that's what I put all of the remotes in. I stuck this guy up here just to save some space and then on this side this is what I have all of their magnetiles in and then moving over a little bit I, and in here I have just like the big doll baby doll stuff and then the cars and the big things obviously the kitchen is here you like that and then I've got this little basket that I put all of their kitchen stuff in that hey, they can you. use Ella likes it she says Are you eating your chick your your chuchi your cookie over here we've got their reading center they've already used it and they really like it y'all like it yeah. they said it's like at being at a library and they get to check out books 
Um, and what I did over here, so these are the bigger books, smaller books, these smaller ones I just kind of stacked in here. And then they're soft books I put inside this little like magazine paper holder. I think I got this from Target from like the dollar spot. Legos, I stuck over here. Literally, I just kind of ran out of room. Stuffies are there. And then I, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw in the time lapse, but I was trying to figure out how to make those things like smaller and I couldn't do it. So I just said, screw it. So right now that's where the crib and the stroller is, but that's it. So that is the playroom cleaning and organization. There was a little bit of decluttering happening. I didn't get rid of a lot of stuff just because we did do a major declutter right before Christmas. So, but that is all stuff that didn't belong. Those few things are declutter and this was a bag of trash. I definitely recommend when you do start the process of decluttering your whole house, invest in some really big trash bags just because it's much easier to get rid of stuff that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of using what you got, decluttering and cleaning your kid's playroom. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.